As storms batter England's southern coast, sections of the sandstone cliffs crumble into the ocean, unveiling an extraordinary sight. The footprints of fearsome prehistoric creatures. Archaeologists have made an astounding discovery of 100 million year old dinosaur fossils. Dinosaurs, the ancient reptilian giants, first emerged about 230 million years ago in the late Triassic era, and their reign lasted for approximately 165 million years. Throughout the centuries, an incredible diversity of dinosaur species roamed the Earth, ranging from small, meat-eating bipeds to colossal herbivores like the Argentinosaurus, measuring a staggering 115 feet in length. Around 65 million years ago, a catastrophic event, likely a cosmic impact or environmental crisis, led to the mass extinction of dinosaurs, wiping out about 75% of all life on the planet. Despite the millennia that have passed since their disappearance, dinosaurs continue to captivate human imagination, appearing prominently in movies and museum exhibits worldwide. Although much remains unknown about these prehistoric creatures, Ongoing research and fossil discoveries continue to shed light on their fascinating history. While dinosaur fossils have been found all over the world, they were first studied and identified in Britain. In the 1840s, anatomist Richard Owen coined the term dinosaur, terrible reptile, in England, and since then, hundreds of dinosaur fossils have been unearthed in the country. The Jurassic Coast in southern England gained fame for its abundant fossil deposits with amateur paleontologist Mary Anning making significant contributions. In 1811, Anning discovered the first ichthyosaur specimen, followed by two whole plesiosaurs, a pterosaur, and numerous marine fossils during her career. Today, the Jurassic Coast is renowned as one of the most geologically significant locations globally. It is believed that Britain was once home to over 100 different types of dinosaurs, making it a region with a fascinating paleontological history. During the Jurassic period, millions of years ago, Scotland was connected to North America by land. But as the Atlantic Ocean formed, much of Britain ended up below sea level. When the landscape re-emerged, the giant dinosaurs that once inhabited it were long extinct. The town of Hastings, located around 150 miles from where the famous paleontologist Mary Anning made her discoveries, also has a rich paleontological heritage. The region was once a vast body of water where both land and marine creatures thrived. In 2014, a series of storms battered the southern coast of England, causing the fragile cliffs around Hastings to collapse. Surprisingly, the destruction revealed prehistoric relics that had been preserved in stone for millions of years. Over four years, a group from the University of Cambridge studied the geological anomalies hidden within the rocks. They found an astonishing array of dinosaur footprints, believed to be made by at least seven distinct species. The footprints date back to the Lower Cretaceous period, around 145 million years ago representing one of the most significant collections of Cretaceous trace fossils ever discovered in the UK. These findings indicate that the region around Hastings was once home to a diverse range of dinosaur species during the Cretaceous period, which ultimately ended about 45 million years later, marking the last era in which dinosaurs are known to have existed. The footprints discovered near Hastings exhibit a wide range of sizes, with the smallest being less than an inch long and the largest measuring over 23 inches across. Among the identified creatures are ankylosaurs, armored dinosaurs known for their tail clubs used as defense or in interspecies battles. Surprisingly, despite their fearsome appearance, ankylosaurs were herbivores. Another herbivorous dinosaur family, the iguanodontians, left their trace fossils in the Hastings Cliffs, including the famous iguanodon, and duck-billed hadrosaurs. In addition to herbivores, there were signs of stegosaurs, large plant-eating dinosaurs with distinctive bony plates, and possibly sauropods, enormous creatures with long necks and tails. The area wasn't exclusively for herbivores, as theropods, meat-eating bipedal dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex, also left their footprints in the rocks. 
The trace fossils have provided invaluable information to paleontologists, revealing the abundance, diversity, and incredible details of these ancient creatures. Anthony Chalito, a lead researcher on the project, expressed amazement at the level of detail in the footprints, which included skin texture, scales, and even rare claw marks. The discoveries in Hastings have provided valuable insights into the ancient life that once thrived in the region during the Cretaceous era. For over 160 years, paleontologists have been studying dinosaur footprints along the Sussex coast, but a recent discovery near Hastings has surpassed all previous finds in terms of diversity and detail. This breakthrough may mark a return to the glory days of 1825, when the first iguanodon was uncovered in the region. The trace fossils found in the Ashdown Formation have provided valuable insights into the once thriving dinosaur community in the area. The unique preservation of these footprints sheds light on dinosaur behavior, a field where complete fossils are rare. The discovery helps fill gaps in our understanding and allows researchers to infer which dinosaurs lived in the same place and at the same time. Paleontologist Dr. Neil Davies believes such footprints offer clues about how dinosaurs may have affected their environment. For example, bulky dinosaurs could have influenced river formations in a manner similar to modern-day creatures like cows and hippos. Unfortunately, coastal erosion, while beneficial for paleontologists, poses a challenge to locals, leading to efforts to improve sea defenses and prevent further losses to the cliff faces. However, these developments could also hinder future dinosaur discoveries, potentially sealing these invaluable footprints in the ground forever. While the region's fascinating paleontological history continues to unfold, there may still be many more trace fossils awaiting discovery. But the race against coastal erosion raises concerns that these treasures might never see the light of day again. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment, and share the video and remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.